Hello, 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 Roddy here, seven o'clock in the morning, and you've got to be a nut to be painting in Rome at seven in the morning, but I am. So we've got some ancient Roman ruins back here. We got a field, we got the farmer's field. We've got the house back here. We've got some other old castle here. They're all over Italy, millions of not maybe not millions, but hundreds of thousands, a couple hundred thousand of castles and ruins all over. And yes, we're in the pandemic and these four lovely ladies have their gowns on, have their masks. And I don't know, they're sisters, they're friends. No, they don't have the yellow fever. I just had some extra yellow. So they all had nice blonde hair and they're aunt, their mother, their friend died in this pandemic. And they're looking perplexed and they're wondering, why do these things happen? And you know what? Here's my answer to that. Every day with Jesus is sweeter than the day before. Every day with Jesus I love him more and more. Jesus saves and keeps me, and he's the one I'm waiting for. Every day with Jesus is sweeter than the day before. Boom, boom. Uh, you say, you're making fun of death. Yeah, because this is only the death of the body. What is much more worse is the death of the soul. And if you don't know Jesus right now, you're already dead. Jesus didn't come to condemn us, but that he came that through his life and his death and his resurrection that we could be alive. And we don't have to wait and die and go to heaven to feel that life. We can feel that happiness in that life right now. And if you're all scared because of the pandemic, wake up and smell the roses. Every day with Jesus is sweeter than the day before. Every day with Jesus is sweeter than the day before.